Welcome back. It's still the breakfast and plus TV Africa. Time to talk sports and uh, we have a guest already on standby. Let's quickly inform you uh, that the Federal Ministry of Youth and Sports Development has budgeted a whopping uh, 1.480 billion naira in the 2023 appropriation bill, or we should say uh, the 2023 appropriation um, act uh, to take care of the refreshment and meals uh, settlement of honorarium, sitting allowances, publicity, welfare packages uh, for the eggheads and other miscellaneous um, items in the Ministry of Sports. That's in the 2023 budget. Now, the amount is part of uh, 193 billion 418 million uh, 82,888 naira allocated to the ministry from the 21.83 trillion naira. Appropriation Act passed by the National Assembly and signed by President Mohamed Buhari uh, recently. <coughs> Excuse me. The breakdown of the amount shows that the sum of 26.1 uh, million naira was allocated for to refreshments and meals, um, while 140 million naira would be spent on or will be spent on welfare packages. Uh, the ministry also earmarked 20.5 million naira for honorariums and sitting allowances. Uh, 2.3 million naira for postage and courier services, 4.7 million naira for medicals, 10.2 million naira for subscription to professional bodies, 71.6 million naira for monitoring activities and follow up, and 1.12 billion naira for sporting activities and other miscellaneous expenses. Now, are these expenses out of place? We have joining us to discuss this uh, sports journalist and analyst, uh, Monday Thomas, who joins us live from. Of our Zoom from the capital of Akwaibom State, Uyo. Monday, very good morning to you, and permit me to say Happy New Year, since it's the first time we're seeing this year. Uh, Kofi, I'm excited to be talking sport this morning. Happy New Year to you. I think it's my first broadcast on uh, Post TV Africa. Thank you so much for having me. So, straight up to your question is this uh, spending out of place? Uh, for so many people, it is uh, a little bit too much especially for the refreshment and uh, meals, which is about uh, 26 million, just like you've rightly informed us. I mean, when you take a look at how things are in this country, uh, the economic problems and the economic crisis, the inflation and uh, what you have there, the full, the full, full pump price and everything that is not going right in the country. So let's stay in sports right now. If you take a look at the past twice and over the years for the Super Eagles of Nigeria, for sports here in the country, the people who are making us happy as far as sports is concerned, the likes of Atopio Mosan, uh, they are not Nigerian training. And you can see that uh, nothing that we are really doing in this country is uh, really working for us as far as sports is concerned. We take a look at the NPFL. You're still owing ITO Cup winners. You're still, there's no fixed price for the NPFL winners. Nothing is really working. And then what are we having right now? Out of the uh, 21 uh, trillion, uh, trillion naira on the budget, the appropriation uh, passed act by the, our very own president. And now we have about 1.4 uh, billion allocated to settlement of our honorarium and uh, as well as refreshment. If you take a look at the, uh, the activities of the Ministry of Youth and Sports, uh, they, they, they do a whole lot. I mean, for players or for athletes, who do greatly in uh, whatever uh, whatever event they go up for, they come back home and the Ministry of Youth and Sports say, all right, this group of people, they've done Nigeria proud, let's give them so, 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 so amount. This group of people, they've done well. And also, uh, citing of allowances, this also includes activities of the Ministry of Youth and Sports for the uh, delegates who go out there to support Nigerians all over the world and also what they are doing as far as uh, sports is concerned. But the refreshments, I don't know what it's all about. I don't know what part so, of refreshment. So, 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 so money, let, 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 let's, yeah, money, let, let's get it right. This is not money going to football, as it were, in, you know, uh, activities under the NFF. They have money for NFF already. Am I correct? Um, I, I've seen something in, in one of the, uh, the, the, the of documents. Course, football, is the, uh, football is the biggest sport in Nigeria. Football is the, the most famous one. So there will be some level or there will be a different budget for football in Nigeria. Yeah. I, I, I see uh, 1.28 billion allocated to football. So, so what we're saying is that um, uh, 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 this money, is, if, if it's refreshment, people should not assume that those refreshments are for maybe when Super Eagles come around. Or, or other things. This is for the sports ministry. But um, are we not being too, <coughs> excuse me, hasty? Are we not being too critical, let me say, 
of the Ministry of Sport, looking at the sporting activities, things are quite expensive in the market. Um, I don't know which, which big, there's a market in Uyo I know quite well, I've forgotten the name. But if you're traveling from Uyo to Calabar, it's a big one on the right. You know, if you go to any of the big markets in Uyo today, or in Lagos, you want to buy uh, some wines, you know, you want to buy some ingredients to cook, you, you spend a lot of money. The level of inflation in this country is quite high. Um, do, do we need to really, like, hear NFF out? Sorry, the sports ministry out. To know what exactly they're talking about, rather than to say, oh, Refreshment, you're spending X, Y, Z amount of money, it's too much. Don't forget, this is for the entire year. If, if we had something that we were celebrating, you know what I'm saying, coffee, no one will come out to uh, uh, absolutely call them out and say, hey, this is not, this is too much. But there is nothing much to celebrate. Is there anything to celebrate? But if you listen to me previously, I did not completely come out to uh, say that this is too much. I actually listed some things that are very important. Uh, the sighting of allowances, the publicity, and as well as the welfare, they, they need this. They need this for certain. But when it comes to refreshment, what are we refreshing? M M Monday, like, the refreshment what? amount is 26,156,222 naira. 22 naira. All right? 26 million for refreshment and meals. Maybe they will do it in hotels. They have meetings. The whole sports ministry, the whole year. Is that too much? When they have their meetings, they, they, they pay for tea, they pay for sandwiches and all these things, you know, buffet uh, and all those things. So do they, I, I, I would like to know as well, I mean, there are some, some people who want to know if uh, they get to have this gathering every year uh, or, or every month. We have 12 months in a year, 26 million is, uh, is way too much. It's way too much. Uh, considering the economic situation of the country, considering that we are still owing, I mean, lots of uh, debt we are, we are still uh, with this administration, 26 million. Are we still, are we having refreshment every M Monday? Uh, we, we have we have 36. Monday, we have 36 states in Nigeria. Assuming the Ministry of Sports wants to have a meeting, maybe in in all the states in the FCT, which is their right. I mean, the Ministry of Sport of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and they go to say um, uh, each state, and they have the meeting in a hotel, and they say, okay, we are going to have 30 people come, 40, 100 people come for this meeting. Um, we want to feed them, okay, with food and drinks and tea or coffee as you want. Um, 36. Football, state. football. Let me know the match. Sports is not politics. People don't come around like that. People don't come around like that. What, what would they come around for? I mean, sports is, uh, they could just have a meeting. A meeting, they could just have a meeting with uh, a light cup of coffee and then a cup of tea and then everyone goes your way. You get what I'm saying that? They shouldn't have any budget for refreshment and meals. Of course, people, they, they need to eat and uh, have some, some time. But 26 million, do they get together every month? They don't get together every month. They could just gather five months uh, in, uh, in the are you sure? Months Are the, you uh, sure they don't have meetings every month? Are you sure? Okay, you are talking to me via Zoom. Meetings can be held via Zoom. Do they still have to celebrate or have some refreshment via Zoom? Mm -hmm. Well, what if, it's, what if it's not their policy? Because... I'm looking, I'm, I'm dividing this, let's say they had a meeting, one meeting in all the 36 states <laughs> of the Federation in the FCT. This 26, it means they'll spend seven, about 700,000 hour on, on food and drinks per meeting. Is that too much? Well, that is just, that is just on the average, and that's you uh, having a calculation that could not be uh, totally correct. No, 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 listen to what I said. Imagine the ministry, this is a whole ministry of sports, led by a former journalist, Sunday Diary. Okay. Right? Um, and if they have a meeting in all 36 states in Nigeria, all right, in, in 2023, and the FCT, making 37 territories, each meeting will go up about 700,000 for food and drinks. Is that too much? Oh, let's sit down. The bill is seven. I mean, Monday. I'm sure maybe as a young man, you well, you've gone to the I, club I, I, before. Would, you know how much? A, a do you know how much a bottle of the, these expensive cognacs costs? They want to drink that. I I know you know all about those drinks. No, I, 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 I don't know. Oh, I don't. I'm, I'm, I I may know something because I'm a journalist and I investigate from time to time. Oh, uh, I, yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> I know coffee. So, I know coffee. What are those? If, if 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 they won't really be called out if things were working. You get me. If things were working, let's let's leave the company out of it. If things were working in uh, uh, football, precisely, and also other sports, what is really happening in Chan 2023 that starts today? 
Nigeria is not right there. It's because the administration, they've not done their very best. They have to uh, take their own share of the blame. If we didn't go to the World Cup, people will not still forget that. So if Nigerians are calling the NFF out, I don't think all the Ministry of Youth and Sports out, they are not out of place. These people have seen that things are not working as it should in the country. And this money should be appropriated to something more important. I'm not so, saying... So, so Monday, uh, so Monday, you want them to sit down in their meetings. For instance, now, one of the drinks, these alcoholic beverages that uh, Ubi, Ubi Kubana and his, uh, his group, <laughs> the market, the B1 Big Bottle, brown one, I know you know it, but we won't mention the name because they've not paid us for adverts. Um, it costs a lot of money. You know, it, you, don't, you can go online, you see the price. And if they say that they want to have it, start with an H, they want to have that one, you know, um, that's a lot of money. So they can think well, you know, and bring out these policies you're talking about. It's, it, it, that 7,000 is really small. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't completely <laughs> agree with you, but I'm just saying that uh, things, if things are in place, then this money, people will be happy for them to have it and do whatever they want to do with it. But Nigerians calling them out, they're not out of place to do so. They're not out of place to do so. And like you also listed to us, the other a part of it, the settlement of on a river, I, I told you that there are some cases where athletes and also players go out there to represent the country and they do greatly and they return home. The Ministry of Youth and Sports we want to do one or two things for them. Hmm. We also have publicity. We also have subscription to a big... Uh, events. Yes. So it's yeah. Ma 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 you, talking about that, let's look at uh, uh, welfare packages. Uh, we have 140 million naira, uh, six okay, 140 668,563 million naira. Uh, what 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 do they mean when they say welfare packages? That's a lot of money. 140 million. Welfare packages uh, involve uh, athletes and uh, players who go out. I mean, they need to be taken care of. The hotel bills. The hotel bills for tournaments, especially if you are going for qualifiers. I know if you are going for a major tournament like, let's say, the World Athletic Championship, they'll have their own place to stay. It will be provided by the host of that particular office. But they need to have some money in their pocket. So this is how it happens. So in 2023, let's say that uh, uh, maybe, let's say, 100 sports are, uh, are being involved in uh, some, uh, some of their events. They go out there. They need some welfare packages. They need to be taken care of. And that's so, 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 and so it's not just about football. We also have all but, but, but if you're talking about welfare, aren't these agencies, don't they have their own, uh, these um, federations, sorry, and associations, don't they have their own budgets? Therefore, meaning that uh, the, the, the welfare of the athletes will be taken, for, taken care of or catered to under the budget. For instance, if it's the Athletics Association Federation, uh, the Basketball Federation, the Football Federation, that they have everything in budget, so that is already taken care of. I mean, is, is that the case, or does the NFF uh, have to have the money, and then if they are going, oh, we want to travel here, they give them. We want to go here. Is, is that how it's done? Well, I'm sure about the NFF, like uh, every football federation in, the, in any country uh, gets to be allocated some funds from uh, FIFA. So the NFF could be different, but when it comes to the F and the Athletic, Athletic Federation of Nigeria, they don't get to have uh, this kind of leverages. You know, football is, uh, is a popular sport, and for certain, it accumulates more money than any other sports in the world. So for the FN, I'm not sure it's the same thing. They don't get some points from, even if they do get some points from uh, uh, the world athletic body, but it, it, it certainly will not be enough for some things. They need to still be under the Ministry of Youth and Sports. They need to also write their budget and give it to the Youth and Sports for some help as well. So uh, the, the welfare, I don't think it's completely out of place because... Uh, it's it's uh, 2023 and we have lots of sporting events and uh, very soon now uh, the under 20 will, will kick off and uh, they will need some fundings as well. The uh, 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup is also coming up in the summer. They will need some funding as, as well and also all the athletic events, the uh, Commonwealth events that will be coming up in different uh, countries in the world, they will need some funding. So. Completely, the welfare packages, they, I, I actually think that it's enough for them. 140 million, it's, it's okay. All right. Um, uh, you know, I, I did some little politics in school, and one of the things that uh, our president at the time used to use to chop money, um, I, I didn't chop. <laughs> one of the things the guy was president at the time was sitting allowance. We were all looking for it. You know, a student leader, well, I, I ate a little of it, you know. But it was my right. right. It was my right as an ex to get that sitting allowance. 
Uh, but we just went, had a meeting, and just collected money. <laughs> and it was like free money in school. So, uh, what, what, what do you think about the 20.5 million naira for honorarium and sitting allowance? That's, thanks for coming. Who is getting this honorarium? Who is getting this sitting allowance? Okay, uh, that, should, uh, that should be for delegates uh, who, of course, travel with a uh, particular team to uh, monitor an event. So they get honorariums and... Uh, well, we all know that uh, this budget, some of them could be over budget, uh, over budgeted for. Uh, they could just be uh, inflating some uh, some uh, figures right there. We all know this is what happens in Nigeria. No one is uh, no one is new to that particular one. So, are, are you are you alleging are you alleging that these now, these figures are inflated? There is every possibility. Coffee. Okay, okay. So, so uh, uh, because you talked about monitoring, because I'm seeing them, um, we have uh, 71 million naira for monitoring activities and follow up. You know, 71 million for monitoring activities and follow up. Then we have 1.26 1 billion for sporting activities. 1.12. So, the other ones you're hearing, like uh, the money for the welfare, is not for sporting activities. You know, so if if you're seeing that there's um, 20 million for honorarium and allowances, and then there is what 71 million for monitoring activities and follow up, I mean, what 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 comes to your to your mind? Did you say one point? Uh, did, you, did you say 1.2 billion for sporting activities? 1.2 billion for sporting activities. 71.6. Uh, that the sporting activities includes what goes on in the country, like the National Sports Festival. Okay. They, they get right. some fun to All get right. it right. Yeah. The, the things that we do here in the country, it also includes the NPFL, the NLO, how things are being uh, worked here right. in the country. Okay. That's so, why. So, yeah. from all, all you've said, there, there's a lot to look at as far as the sports ministry is concerned, and the budget and all that. Um, well, let's let's I see. Think, I think in the we, coming we, days, in the coming days, they will maybe release a press statement because right. the, the the whole talk is all over the place, and they okay. they will need to defend themselves. All right, all right, Monday. Thank you so much for your time, uh, and we appreciate it. But you've made a very very important uh, allegation this morning. You said that the, it's possible the sports ministry has inflated its budget. Um, that's that's a you know you are celeb, so it's something we will have to reach out to them to get their, their own take on. Monday, thank you very much for your time and hope to have you sometime soon. All right, thank you so much for having me. Kofi, up in here once again. Gracias. And that's the size of our package. We'll be back on Monday. My name is Kofi Bartels. Thanks for your time. The news at 9 is up next.